All right, so what's up everybody? Grim Green back here today. It's a bit of a short week for me. We got ECC coming up this weekend, but I wanted to shoot a real quick, what I believe to be hopefully a really helpful video. We're gonna talk about the ability to make your cotton in your drippers last longer. Across YouTube, there are literally hundreds and hundreds of videos about wicking and, and wicking your RDA and proper wicking techniques and wicking your the, the perfect wick for your RTA and your perfect wick for your RDA and, and when should I re-wick and, and why is this burnt and how to avoid burnt things. But I didn't see anything out there about cycling your cotton. And this term, cycling your cotton, probably isn't something that a lot of people are gonna be real familiar with. I learned it from the master builder, MTurk. I've heard a few people like Stan Tenacious TX Vapes talking about it on YouTube, but I wanted to get to what is cycling your cotton? Why should you be doing it in your RDA dripping atomizers and how it makes both your cotton and your coils last just a whole lot longer in between rewicks. And it's also kind of a helpful little thing if you ever want to like uh, swap out your liquid flavor without having to rewick, this can be helpful in sort of uh, aiding that. So I'm just gonna demonstrate what cycling your cotton actually looks like. So the idea of cycling your cotton is to vape your cotton in your RDA as dry as you possibly can, which might sound weird, like you're thinking in your head, no, I don't want to vape my cotton dry because you associate dry cotton with like a dry hit or like a burnt hit. But if you're cycling your cotton properly, you're kind of never going to run into that situation. Let me just show you what I mean here. I got my Kennedy, I got my Kennedy Constant Contact Ruby Mod 2 post right here. That's an M-Turk alien build in there and it's wicked up and those cottons that are in there are pretty saturated with liquid and I'm just going to go ahead and saturate them just a little bit more with liquid so we have like a definitive jumping off point. We have a very, very saturated, saturated RDA right here. If I press the button, oh boosh, you're gonna see vapors kinda happening all over the place. Now, cycling your cotton, vaping your cotton until it's dry ish. It's easier to do in some RDAs than other RDAs. What you want is an RDA that directs the airflow directly to the center of your coil. There's a lot of RDAs out there to do that do that and even some that don't. You can sometimes reposition your airflow to be to be flowing directly at the center of your coils. And the reason that we want our airflow pointing directly at the center of the coils and the Kennedy Ruby 2 post here is a great example of this. The airflow just goes in and up straight at the center of your coils and that's why I'm using it as an example because the Kennedy makes it ridiculously simple to cycle your cotton. Back to that airflow, that airflow pointing directly at the center of your coils, what that's going to do is help cool down your coil and allow this sort of cycling to happen. It's much easier to demonstrate than it is to explain. So as you saw, I dripped liquid all over this cotton, all over these coils, and what I'm gonna to attempt to do now is just vape it dry. So, as you saw right there, Roughly like five real big lungy sort of cloud chasey hits. And now when we go down and we look at this Kennedy and we pop this top cap off here in just a second and we pop this top cap off of here on this Kennedy, I want you to look at the wicks. They are very, very dry. Not like 100% dry, but quite quite dry. In fact, with how dry these are, I think I could still get one more pretty good rip off of this. Yeah, not bad. Let's take a look at them now. Yeah, I mean, basically, basically dry. There's no liquid down in the liquid well there, in the juice well. The cotton itself is looking nice and white and dry. It's kind of dry to the touch, it just looks nice and white. And what this does, what this accomplishes by vaping all of the liquid out of your cotton and coils is your coils are gonna last longer, your cotton is going to last 
so much longer. When cotton sits in that like soup of liquid, this is what sometimes happens in RTAs as well, but when it's just sitting in that soup of liquid, your cotton does break down. It has the tendency to break down. It can lead to things like dry hits, burnt hits, uh, coil collapse, not coil collapse, cotton collapse in the middle of your coil. That's when your cotton just burns down in the center, but you can't physically see it, so you assume your cotton is fine and you keep vaping it, but you keep getting burnt hits. That's cotton collapse, and this helps prevent cotton collapse. This helps maintain the integrity of your cotton. It's, it's just going to last longer when you vape using this method. And so you can just keep vaping, and you can, I use the pop and paint technique on the Kennedy here, but you don't have to. You can drip however you you want to on whatever RDA you want to. And then again, we can just get these all nice and saturated. We even put some liquid down there in the juice well to have an even longer vape session. But even when I just pop and paint, I can get through like five, six, sometimes seven really good pulls. My cotton will be dried out and I can start fresh again and liquid it back up. And I know that my cotton is gonna last me a real, real long time. This cotton right here has already been going on for two weeks, two weeks without re-wicking, and the cotton looks that beautiful. And the cotton looks that beautiful because of cycling your cotton. So yeah, that's really all there is to it. It's just a real simple way to kind of keep track of your cotton, help your cotton last a little bit longer. If you're someone that doesn't mind re-wicking and you're a person that kind of re-wicks like every other day anyway, then yeah, this isn't gonna be super useful to you. But if you're someone like me who gets really annoyed constantly by re-wicking, like constant, constant re-wicking, cotton cycling technique will help save you some of those, uh, some of those, uh, in my opinion, obnoxious re-wicking sessions. Yeah, it works, it works. That's it, you'll just have to try it yourself and let me know if it worked out for you, but I've been using the cotton cycling technique in literally every RDA that I've been using recently, maybe with the exception of that Slatra RDA that you can't, I don't know, you can't really cycle your cotton with it, it's kind of weird. But most every other traditional RDA have no problem cycling my cotton, and honestly, it's just a good habit to get into, and once you get into the habit of cycling your cotton, you're gonna notice Again, your cotton's just gonna last a whole lot longer. Anyway, I hope somebody found that helpful. That's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, no matter what, cycle your cotton. No matter what, yeah, dude, let's keep on vaping. <laughs>